Uh, COVID-19 has uh, had a big, big impact in our business in the terms as um, we've never been this busy before. Um, you know, in, in our culture, in the African culture, normally we bury on weekends, on Saturdays and Sundays. It's completely changed now because now we're actually burying every single day. On a Thursday, the family would come, wash the body, and then after that, we'd coffin the body, and then on a Friday, we're going to deliver the body, and the body would stay at home till Saturday when the funeral happens, and obviously the body would be removed and taken to the cemetery. That has completely changed. Um, someone, when someone passes away from COVID now, um, uh, it's not advised, it's not supposed to happen. The family cannot, uh, fortunately, they cannot wash the deceased. Um, because obviously when someone is with COVID has passed away, they, the bodies, like let's say for example, in a hospital, the body's picked up from hospital. At hospital, the, ready, the body has already been put in three or four body bags, which are not supposed to be open at all. They can keep the operation running for 14 days until the people process trauma in different ways and people rely on family networks to assist them and support them through times of bereavement like this and that's you know the one potential area of 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 impact is that people no longer have that level of support and are no longer able to process trauma and bereavement in the way that they were used to before and that heightens the sense of stress I think and anxiety as well so that's one of the unintended, I think, or unacknowledged consequences of the regulations.